What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. We got robbed, man. We got robbed yesterday. Let's get one round straight. We didn't get nothing straight. Let's get one thing straight while we on that subject. Let's get one thing straight. Fam, if you're going to be throwing these events and you want people to get behind you and support you, you got to be real better than what you just did, bro. This was terrible. This was terrible all the way around. And I knew something was wrong. I knew something was wrong when it took you over two hours to start the event. Then when y'all start the event, it ain't even really hardly nobody even inside of the event. How? When this is supposed to be a battle rap boxing event. All the stuff that battle rappers talk about, jack about, this is the event we want to see. We want to see them live up to the raps. Only for none of that to even go down like that. This was one of the most, listen, this has to be the most terrible event ever in battle rap history. Let's just be honest with that. Six battles on the card. Let's just be be honest, six fights on the card. Six fights on the card, and only one of them went down that was actually uh, promoted on the card. The two ladies. None of the other battles went down. Steers fought Fettuccini as a fill-in for Old Red. Man, listen, man. This event was terrible all the way around on every level. The commentators were terrible. All oh, they were terrible. It was so tacky. Anybody could have came up, sat down and grabbed a mic and started talking and commentating. The rain car girl was terrible. I, rain car girl, them girls look like them girls look like they had COVID. They coughing, holding up the cars. The damn Scout, the scalp ain't braided. The damn thongs they got on. The cellulite hanging out the thongs. They looking like they, they looking like they need a hit. Oh my God, this was terrible, man. This was a terrible event. It was a terrible, terrible, terrible event. Guys literally wrestling in the aisle. Like literally wrestling in the aisle. I'm just sitting here, and they literally, and, and they made a couple of statements. The guy who was commentating, he said, celebrities in the building. We got celebrities in the building. Celebrities in the building. What, celeb what celebrity was in the building? Who was, who, who was that celebrity in the building? So apparently some celebrity supposed to have been in the building. I don't have a clue who that was. This was a terrible event from top to bottom. Talking about they had a doctor on site who was giving people exams and physicals before they fought. This is ghetto boxing. You don't need no physicals and exams when you only putting on gloves for one minute on a unexperienced people who for the most part we saw can't even really fight. Talking about they didn't pass their physicals. They got high blood pressure. They got diabetes. They got FTDs. Their damn my charts messed up. <laughs> like, man, here, take it. Take it. Bang the gavel on your damn self. Don't worry. I'm going to do it for you. No, 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 man, get out of here with this trash, man, this was man, I need to whip y'all ass, I need to whip your ass, terrible, terrible, man, terrible, then y'all want to get salty when people get the bootlegging, you done ripped off the damn community, 
man, y'all got to return some of that money, man, because y'all made out good on these pay-per-views. Y'all were charging fifty dollars a pop. Y'all got to y'all got to return at least half this money, man. Y'all know this wasn't right. Y'all know this wasn't right. It ain't no way y'all can make this right. Man, y'all better get back to the fans, man, of what they actually paid for, man. Y'all need to reimburse people their money back, man. At least, look, I get it. Look, let, let's just be real. I get it. Sometimes it happens this way. Maybe I, I'm a reasonable man. Maybe y'all didn't expect for it to go this way. I get y'all that. Sometimes things just happen. And it just so happened to fall on you. But you still got to make this right with your people. Especially if you call yourself men of integrity, men of principles and values. You know the community been ripped off. So we just supposed to just accept this bad deal. This ain't what we paid for. We didn't get what we paid for. We paid $50 to get six fights and we only got two. We really got one. Because everything else was put together. And you can't even call them fights. Them wasn't even fights. We didn't get we didn't get what we paid for. And y'all know that, man. Y'all got to at least meet us halfway, man. We look, we reasonable, we understandable. We get it. But you got y'all got to give something back. You got y'all got to make up for this. URL them, y'all got to make up for this. Y'all put y'all name attached to this with shotgun should. Y'all responsible also. Y'all responsible also. And y'all were running the stream through y'all app, so therefore y'all had a percentage in this and you collected. Y'all got to make this right. Y'all got to make out on y'all promises and live up to your name when you talk about we always complete the objective, we always do good business. Well, it's time for y'all to do some good business. Should it's time for you to do some good business. Y'all ripped us off, man. Let's just be real. Y'all raped us, man. Y'all raped the culture with no Vaseline yesterday. Y'all need to be ashamed of y'all self for trying to think it's just going to go over and we just going to accept that. No, we not, bro. I feel cheap right now, bro. I ain't used to people taking and stealing from me. I feel like I've been violated, fam. I'm keeping it 100, man. I was in front of this screen. I was getting tired because it was taking too long to start to the point that I started getting like a light headache and needed to lay down. Then they stalling all the time because they know what's going on. You're doing all this stalling because you know these fights ain't finna go down, which is terrible to me because I don't get it. I'm used to, we used to have recreation centers in a hood. They used to have gym rooms and boxing rings inside of them. We didn't have to take no physicals. We didn't have to get our blood pressure taken. Them guys being there like, hey, come on, little nigga, put these gloves on. Let me see what you got. <laughs> okay. They ain't even taped up by our hands. We just got on raw boxing glove, duking it out. Talking about they didn't pass they physicals for one minute round. Three one minute round. You don't need a damn physical. She got high blood pressure. He got high blood pressure. Get up out of here. Trying to use any any excuse, man. Come on, man. Y'all could do better than that. The damn referee, man. That whole event was terrible. The referee didn't even know how to referee. The damn help referee looked like they was on crack. They looked like they were trying to get a hit. They didn't even care about what was going on. Man, that was just terrible. That was this was the worst event I ever experienced and witnessed in my life. No exaggeration whatsoever. This was terrible. Everything about the event was terrible. Everything. The fighters, the commentary, the referees, the rain car girls, the audience. Everybody in that damn place was terrible. They came in there wearing all type of onesies and pajama suits. 
Man, get up out of here. Terrible. Still couldn't even pack the building. How you can't pack the building in? Bad promotion. The promotion was bad. The face-offs was bad. Man, this was terrible. This was beyond terrible, man. This was tacky to the highest degree of tackiness. Y'all all need y'all that whoop. All y'all. Every damn body that has something to do with the damn car. Need to get one of them baby boy Jodies when them little dudes stole his Alize and had to take one on the chin. Y'all need that damn thing. Just gonna rob us like ain't no consequences gonna be behind that. Oh yeah, there's gonna be some consequences behind that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all think y'all complaining about bootlegging and stuff now? It definitely finna be some 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 repercussions behind this. The bootlegger won't an excuse to keep bootlegging y'all stuff. That's why they look look how arrogant and prideful they is now with how they bootleg y'all stuff. They don't have a care in the world. And look and, and you wonder why. Giving out this bad product. And then charging the most expensive you can get. You want every dime out of our pocket charging for all this mess. Now you got another event today. Yeah, okay. I ain't heard no announcement or nothing that y'all gonna reimburse anybody. And you got another event today? Today, today? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I okay, I hear you. This robbed us, man. I'm salty. I'm salty for real. I wanted to see 40 and Bonnie. I wanted to see Snake Eyes and Stumbles. Man, get up out of here. That's terrible, man. Y'all need y'all out of pocket, man. Y'all gotta fix that situation. Sure, you, you better say something. You better say something, bro. Y'all can't just get over on us like that, man. That was out of pocket. That was really, really out of pocket, man. For real. Um, you are real? Y'all better huddle up. Huddle up. Do something. Correct this and make this right, though real y'all can't even y'all got to do some better negotiations okay but this, this man this event was terrible man them damn boxes why all the boxes look like they on dope and drugs that that what that that damn medical examiner saw them boxes look like they look like they just left the damn dope house he like oh absolutely not some somebody finna die even though they can't fight, they just finna die off the anxiety of being doped up in the damn ring. Ring car girls, uh, the damn stretch mark from the babies, <laughs> the stretch mark, <coughs> excuse me, the stretch marks from the damn babies they had. Why you got on the half top with the damn baby stretch mark skin? Like why would you why would you why would you wear why would you wear a half top and you done had two babies in the damn the 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 baby the baby belly wrinkle stretch the damn baby belly <laughs> wrinkle stretch <laughs> Look like damn cake batter. A nerd to have on half top. Thongs in your damn stretch marks showing. You look worse than the girls in the damn players club. Tattoos half done. Ain't even colored in. The damn words ain't even finished. Half of your damn head Still need weaved. 
Ring, ring card girls, <laughs> right? Well, monster movie girls, these girls auditioning for monster movies. Ring card girls <laughs> look like they got a damn pandemic, man. Please, <laughs> man, please. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, man. Boxes coming. <laughs> damn boxes coming in. All they damn lips white. And, and, and why? Oh, my God, bro. You looking sick. And why? You looking sick on some. He got the package. What you say he got? He got the package. <laughs> now he's into the closet. Now I'm out of the closet. Now he's locked in the closet. Come out of the closet. Like, <laughs> damn, boy, you looked at terrible. Like, ooh, boy, you shrunk up and shriveled up. Your damn neck, JC, your damn neck with JC. Your damn head, young ill. <laughs> your, damn, your damn head, young ill. Your neck, JC. Oh, man, your body, your body, Tay Rock. And your damn shoulder, Rum Nitty. Oh, my gosh, you. <laughs> you grasshop a little. <laughs> like, like <laughs> I saw you on the damn screen. I had to refund the remote. I thought I was watching a bug's life. <laughs> well, I was watching this with my son now. Like, I, I, this is supposed to be the fight. Who the hell is that? Oh, my gosh, bro. You need a damn physical. <laughs> Get your physical, physical. Everyone need a physical, physical. Everyone need a physical. Go get your physical. Put your damn my chart up. <laughs> your my chart up. Put your damn my chart up. Go get a damn physical. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Ooh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you was looking sick as hell on that screen. <laughs> I, I, pulled, I saw that. I saw you on that damn screen and do all type of ibuprofen, Adderall, and Tylenol, and third flu, and out the felt in the damn screen. <laughs> damn screen. <laughs> damn. Blood transfusion. Get your go get your damn stomach pumped. <laughs> Woo! Bro, that ain't right. That ain't right. Unless you talking about you ain't on liquor no more. Like that that liquor had you looking a little full. I don't know what the hell you on, bro. You <laughs> you look like you look like you take. Seven, eight different medications, bro. That looked terrible, man. <laughs> I'm keeping it real. I ain't even recognize that brother. Man. That ain't right. Something ain't going on right there, bro. Something ain't going on over the day. Man, that wasn't right. Hell, take it. Take it. Bang the devil on your damn self. What? Ooh. Ooh, you little. <laughs> he got it. Did y'all see him? He got it. I can't bang the guy on that man and that brother. Yes, I can. That's what you get. No. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> My gosh. Woo. <laughs> Give us back our damn money. 